Pillars of Brotherhood. In any city, in any country, go to the nearest orphanage you can get yourself to. When you arrive, ask the nun or social worker at the desk to speak to the Holders of Brotherhood. She will smile and comment. I see more of your kind these days. With a tinge of remorse in her voice. As she leads you through the building, the children will flock to you. Under no circumstances, though, should you make eye contact with any of the orphans. None of these orphans are real children, but rather the soulless husks of failed seekers that were unable to pass the difficult test ahead of you. She will walk you back into the depths of the orphanage to a room that looks older than time itself and hand you a key. This is your last chance to change your mind and flee, though you will most likely still lose your sanity from the children's stares as they haunt your dreams for years to come. Should you, however, choose to continue, you will find yourself in an empty and unremarkable room. The room is spartan, having only one bed with rough sheets, a sink, and a toilet. Sitting quietly on the bed will be a pair of conjoined twins that will greet you warmly with smiles and waves. The remarkable thing you will immediately notice about these twins almost is their color. One is as black as the night sky, void of any color whatsoever, and the other bright as any fresh snow. These holders have been joined since the last time the objects were brought together, but you must convince one of them that the other plots against them. Should you succeed in this task, however, the brother you have convinced will choke the other to death. As he does this, you must ask him one question. If the light brother is dying, you must ask him, Will I be their savior? He will tell you over the course of an eternity a list of all the sins committed by seekers searching for the objects, and by the objects themselves. If the dark brother is dying, you must ask him, Will they be my salvation? And he will answer you, Though what he will say I have not been able to glean from any amount of research. After the brother is dead, the living one will remove a ring from his brother's finger and give it to you and thank you for saving his life. Do not protest. Simply leave the room and go about your day, no matter how many years may have passed. Each ring is object 494 of 538. One will bring great joy, the other eternal sorrow. Choose wisely.